I just want to talk about my dad a little bit. Um, he was a, a loud man, and what I mean by that is, uh, I don't know if you've heard him sneeze, but his sneezes <laughs> kind of went to the next household and over. Um, he played a lot of music. I know we have a, a bunch of guys that played music with him, um, and, and we really appreciate you guys all being here. We had a couple years we did uh, music parties, and my, my dad could probably play anything just by hearing it um, in every key that he could think of. Um, great jazz musician. Played some trumpet, played guitar, but a lot of piano. Banjo. Banjo, yeah, getting from his father. Trombone, too. Yeah. Trombone, yeah. yeah. Tried out for the Ohio State marching band, and I don't think that went as well as he'd like to. But. It's his feet that were not good. He qualified <laughs> musician. It was, it was staying with everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. It was the Ohio State was, band. He had to be, playing was good, but the, you had to be excellent with your with your right and left. <laughs> Um, I, I think my, my most important memories are sitting out on our deck at the time. It's a different house, but we had a deck, and, and sitting out on the deck, and he would play us music, and we'd sing along, um, and hopefully we can carry that down, you know, so Cecilia and Elika are out there somewhere, um, but hopefully we can, uh, we can keep on the singing tradition. Um, what else? I don't know. He, he always liked to play. Um, we had some really great conversations. I think uh, we probably got more interesting to him as we got older, and we started, you know, 13, 14, we were able to stand around and, and debate. debate, yeah, and, and scream and debate. yell about politics or religion uh -huh. or, or whatever. Yeah. Always. Always. Um, he didn't care which side you picked. He picked the other. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. No, my, my aunt is right. He would always choose the other side of an argument, um, just to, I think just, just to see if he could yeah. Yeah, keep the argument going. Just like yeah. me, actually. <laughs> yeah, Justin has his traits. <laughs> Some of them. Yeah. Um, is Matt going to talk? Matt. Yeah, it's Matt. Where is Matt? Okay, Matt's next. Uh, yeah, so I think it's pretty obvious uh, what kind of man my dad was based on uh, the size of this house. Uh, he mostly only cared about his family uh, and us. He provided a lot. Uh, I'm living in another house that belongs to my mom right now, so it might give you some idea of how much he really cared about providing for all of us. Uh, there's a lot of things I could say about my dad. Um, a lot of good memories. Uh, he, he taught me how to play chess. Um, taught me how to do a lot of things. Uh, and just like my brother was just talking about, uh, one of the things that he definitely taught us how to do was uh, to have difficult conversations, to have important conversations. Um, his politics, uh, his, conservative. his very conservative leaning politics, uh, <laughs> I had the opportunity to really talk to him about a lot of things. And I had a lot of arguments with him. I disagreed with him about a lot of things. But what I learned from him was that he was very concerned about the state of the country. He loved this country. He loved this country. Uh, very concerned about the economy. Very concerned about making sure that all the children out there are treated properly. And making sure that the next generation has all the opportunities that he had. Because he had a lot of opportunities and he took advantage of them. So as many things as I did disagree with him about, uh, as many heated arguments as we got in, and enjoyed, sometimes. Uh, despite the screaming matches sometimes that we had, uh, the one thing that I will remember about him most is that at the end of the day, uh, regardless of the ridiculous things that we might have said to each other, when I had to go home or when I had to leave, uh, he would always say warmly goodbye and that he loved me and that he would see me again. I was always welcome in his home. And that's how I'll remember him. <laughs> 